Hey, I'm Chris Baker, Director of Business Development and Product Management for API. And we are gonna be teaching you how to connect our new V-Probe to our Radiant Laser Tracker. So we're gonna start from the beginning, which is connecting our tracker and the V-Probe in the software. And we will take you step-by-step step on everything from putting the battery on, starting the V-Probe, and putting the tips in all the way through calibration and measurement with the V-Probe. Prior to connecting in your software, you're gonna to wanna to have your V-Probe turned on and your tracker turned on. In order to start the V-Probe, we're gonna to need to put our battery in first. Once you have your battery in, we have our power button on top of the V-Probe and you will turn that on. Once it's turned on, you'll hear the noise. And once you have both of them turned on, you can start up uh, the connection within your third-party software. So the tracker is initializing now and it will rotate to each one of its stops and bring itself back to the home position, which is where you'll begin once you start your measurement process in your software. Once your tracker is initialized in your third-party software, the software will recognize that a V-Probe is connected and will ask you if you would like to run a new virtual level or use the same one. Unless you're certain that your tracker has not moved since your previous setup, you're gonna to want to run a new virtual level. Once your tracker is initialized and you're all set up and ready to go inside of your third-party software, you're gonna grab one of your probes. Our probe tips have an RFID chip inside of them, and that way you will not have to add a new probe every time. Your probe will automatically recognize your probe tip, and all you'll have to do is screw it in, hand tight, no tighter, and you'll be ready to start your job. The first time you use a new probe tip, you're gonna to wanna to validate that probe tip to make sure that everything is meeting our spec. In order to do that, you're gonna take a measurement with the probe that will coincide with an SMR measurement, and we will compare the two of those together and get the deviation. The easiest way is to take a standard puck and glue it to a surface. And allow the glue to set so the puck won't move when you take the SMR in and out. This reset sphere has the same centering as your standard SMR that you will be using. So that way we will do a direct comparison between the V-probe measurement and the tracker measurement with the SMR. So in order to establish the reference, we're gonna take our first point with the SMR, place it into the puck and you'll click the measure. The validation procedure only requires that you take one point with the SMR. If you would like to take an additional point to compare just to prove that it did not move, feel free to do that. The software has no problem with that. After you have your SMR point set, then you'll take your reset sphere and put it into the same puck that you use for your SMR. You'll grab the beam with the V-probe. Your software will automatically recognize that the you have gained the V-probe instead of the SMR. You'll put your V-probe in your reset sphere and start to take points in different orientations. It'll automatically default to four points, which should easily take care of what you need for the validation as long as you're exercising your V-probe properly. In order to cover the basis of your measurement volume, Once you're done taking your four points to compare to your SMR measurement, your software will tell you if you're ready to move on or not. Most often, this is gonna show that your measurements align and you're ready to measure. If not, you can always go to our calibration procedure, which is very similar to the validation procedure, and we'll show you that next. So just as with your validation, your calibration will start out with an SMR measurement to use as a reference. And we'll take that one single point. 
Once that point is measured, you can put your SMR in the home position or set it off to the side and you'll get your reset sphere and put it back into the puck. You'll acquire the beam again with your V-probe and you'll begin taking your four shots with it placed in the reset sphere. Once you're done, you'll finalize your calibration results and then go back to verify that your point tip is correct. Once you've verified that the point tip of your V-Pro matches your SMR measurements, you're ready to start taking points and measuring your jobs. Just to give an example, we will get some points on the backside of this sphere that you would typically be unable to get with a normal just tracker and SMR. While the vertical probe position is the most commonly used position in the field, we do have a horizontal probe location as well. The RFID chip that we have inside of the tip will automatically establish that you're measuring with the other location. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions or any additional interest in our new V-Probe, please feel free to reach out to us at apimetrology.com to speak to a real metrologist today.